Alright guys, welcome back. And in this video, the first thing I want to do is I want to give um, the functionality to reload the cannon. Because right now, we just shoot it once, as you can see, and that's all of the bullets that we get. We can't click, we can't shoot ever again. So eventually what's going to happen is we want to say whenever that meatball is destroyed, whether it goes off the screen or a block falls on it or the turn is over, whenever that bullet gets destroyed, then what we want to do is we want to pretty much reload the cannon. So in the event sheet, what we can do is we can just add an event and we'll choose meatball and where are you at destroyed? I'll just search for it. Undestroyed. So basically whenever the meatball is destroyed, then what do we want to do? Well the first thing we need to do is we need to change this variable did I say variable? Variable back to zero. So it's at one whenever you fire it, but as soon as it uh, destroys or turns over, set it back to zero. So in order to do that, of course, system, um, global variable, set value, and set it back to zero. Pretty easy. And the only other thing that I want to do is remember right now we have our camera zoomed out, but whenever we're working with the game, the camera's going to be moving around and eventually it's gonna end up here because that's where our meatball ended up whenever it get, got shot out however whenever we reload I want to scroll back to the cannon right here right where it was by uh, when we first started so in order to do that on on this event right here whenever it's destroyed let's go ahead and add another action in that system and I'm just gonna type this scroll to object and the object that we want to scroll to is the cannon and hit done so basically whenever our meatball is destroyed and the turn is over then reload that's what this line saying and go back so the camera focuses on the cannon pretty much how you started so let me just go ahead and play this right now and even though we won't see the camera movement we can see that whenever the meatball goes off the screen and it's destroyed we can now shoot it again pretty freaking sweet so now what we can do is actually start adding those blocks and I'm actually gonna do it in the next tutorial because I wanna add the blocks and I also wanna work on the physics for the blocks and I'll show you guys how um well a couple other things that we can do with the tower but for now it was a short video but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time